Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> Cameroon. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. So today is 09. We're still on the mechanic archer in jungle by Captain Bosch. But obviously. But obviously. Uh, Developing the character. <laughs> Busy. So much to do. Classic juggle act. Hey, good morning, Chester. How's it going, man? <laughs> hey, listen. Something, don't know what it means. Um, Ayatsuki, Eric Mui, Nareda, Ixi, avoca av Avocado, Avuda Breakfast. <laughs> All right, so today I'm gonna start already because I got bucket loads of stuff to do. Uh, so I think I'll start. Um, like uh, sketching him again, but uh, like it more a little bit more elaborate. Hey, Captain Bows. Hey, Oms, how's it going? So yesterday there was no warm up because uh, there was a blackout in my house in the office, so that was no go. And of course, just over the period of where the the warm up was, which is you know classic. Classic stuff. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, like I mentioned before, I, I want to have this guy like a uh, nasty, and I wanted a weird, weird shoulders, so it looks like it can move either direction. So I'm, I need to make sure that that is communicated in the design. So what I, one idea is that I want to have it looking like there's more than one shoulder system. You know how the shoulder system rests on the rib cage and it's uh, held there together with muscles, right? Hey Zelin, how's it going? Urian, how's it going, man? We meet again, evil one. <laughs> Yeah, so one one solution to that would be to to indicate that um, there's more than one. So I had this idea of separating them, but connecting them, so it looks like it it has no front and back, like you know animals do and humans do. Uh, so this is like some sort of um, hybrid version of a, a feline and a and a a human. So that's that's my attempt at trying to to uh, make that idea work, um, like of separating the the systems there. Uh, Spectrum. I've never ever participated in Spectrum. Um, I don't know why I don't feel like uh, paying to have my art paying for submission I guess that's the bigger biggest reason why um, I haven't I probably should though uh, might do it this year actually because I, I think I, I should submit the forest walker there's a lot of people who enjoy that, uh, and I think it's a nice one, so I might submit that one, but we'll see. I have never submitted to Spectrum, though. I know my friends have, and they they always, they are in Spectrum. That doesn't automatically make me, uh, they're, they're like accepting my art, but... 
you know. Hey, Bruno Romanos. Bruno Romanos. January 25th. All right, thank you. Thanks for the heads up. Mm. Yeah, I can't. I can't be, get too uh, stiff here with the lines. I still need to make it. Uh, is this is not? I have to remind myself that this is not the final line art. So I need to to make it dirtier. Come on, come on, mind. It's just all about the design and the swooshiness. I have to keep that in mind. So I don't get uh, caught up in make every, everything perfect. That mouth is just go home. You're drunk. Hey, Sofa Strangler. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Who or any of is any one of you gonna submit to um, Spectrum? Arian? Well, are you? Are you? Are you? It's a pretty cool book, though. It's, it's regarded as a book, right? Should be. It should be a book. Orion, really? Why? Um, how come you're on the fence about it? Would be interesting to hear. You haven't heard about it, the Rudy Breakfast? All right, that's interesting. Oh really, sofa? Eggs. Eggs are really good for you. So that's great. Apparently, they contain very unique uh, things the body needs. I mean, it's the best source of those things that the body needs. Creatine, or whatever it was called. Not creatine, but whatever. Good stuff for it. Good stuff. Uh, Bellus1, why am I not streaming on Nico Nico? Uh, I don't know what Nico Nico is. Enlighten me. Um. Oh, Ariana, that's why. All right. Okay, well, that makes sense. So for Strangler, yeah, you eat um, baby feet, uh, chicken fetuses for sure. But they contain everything that you need in there, which is pretty cool. You know, like an egg um, doesn't get any influence from after it's hatched, you know. So it's like a, a dynamite for, for growing things in there. So I think that's why it's so good. And I'm assuming, like... Ostrich eggs are even more crazier when it comes to nutrients. You know, need to make that big, big damn bird. Oh, text to speech. All right, but I mean, who who wants to sit and listen to everything? A place where good artists that don't have a job end up in. <laughs> I have a job, so I'm good. But I'll look up Nico Nico. Maybe I can dual stream on Nico Nico just for the sake of it. But maybe I'm, I'm going to be classified as a non working artist then. And then my, my reputation is ruined. I'll get loads of PMs of people online like, Bjorn, have you, have, have you lost your job? You're streaming on Nico Nico. What the? 
No, no, you're okay. Bow, bow, I bow before the Mila. All hail, Queen Mila has arrived. <laughs> do, 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 do. It would be cool if if this this uh, this guy has like scratched mask. Uh, Avu the breakfast spectrum is our art collection book more or less. Like each year, you can submit. And, and, and each year they release a book of the year, you know, like, oh, this is the art that was, this is the top of the art that was created this year. And everyone buys it and goes, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, look at that, ooh. So usually, you know, there's people submitting all sorts of cool art in there. But the negative of it is it costs money to, to enter. But the positive is, a lot of art directors get Spectrum. So if you submit some cool art, and the art directors tend to flip through the Spectrum, they they tend to always buy it, you know, so that they can have a finger on the pulse. Um, so in that way, it's a good good. Uh, marketing tool for for artists to to submit to spectrum <laughs> a voodoo breakfast yeah you pay for exposure but uh, you pay for the submission whether you get in or not that you don't know so it costs to submit your art and then there is a selection from the people that makes the book and not all obviously not all entries make it but they still have to pay for it the the artists that the, that's submitted so it in a way it's like um, a quality threshold you know if you if you find yourself good enough to pay for trying uh, to get into the book, right? So it, it's not for everyone. Uh, beginners shouldn't, I would say, shouldn't try to get into Spectrum for many reasons. One of them is the art threshold is high and it costs money to submit. But it's a great like I said, uh, like you, you'll understand what it takes, uh, what the quality threshold is in Spectrum. Like, get there, and you, sh you shouldn't have any issues getting jobs. Yeah, I mean, it's paid submission. It's not like hundreds. It's just like a, a small thing. But it does cost to submit. But if you do get in, you know, there's a huge chance that you will get um, people hiring you from it. Because a lot of people buy Spectrum. A voodoo breakfast. Yeah, you should do it. Spectrum is a great art book. Great art book. I think it's been going for 10 years or something like that. It's really cool. It's a really good book. A lot of, a lot of good artists uh, put their art in Spectrum. So if you want to have a book that you go ooh and ah over, that, was, that would definitely be one of them.
Sofa Strangler, yeah, definitely. I mean, paying for submission is, uh, you know, it it removes the begin the the hobbyists, you know. <laughs> Ivan, yeah, just go to the library and print out some pictures and glue it. Twenty fifth, all right. Then you should submit really. Twenty five years, probably some sort of twenty fifth anniversary edition. Hey, Rex, how's it going? Good morning. I'm looking for a nice 2D rendering tutorial. If I have any. Uh, watch my streams from last year. The... No. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they're really tutorials. It's more or less like this is how I do it. But I rant a lot in them. But I don't know. I don't have any available other than I have a couple on my YouTube channel, but they're not uh, commented. They're just uh, either muted, muted uh, time lapse or uh, music in time lapse. I don't have any tutorial at the moment. I used to have on my CGMA class, but it's not. I went through the whole process. What you should think. So, so. But there, there you go. Maybe I should. Maybe I need to. Uh, Captain Boast, no, there's no payment for you. Uh, there's no, like, percentage of sales it's a, just a pay for exposure a pay to win book <laughs> oh really I would a breakfast uh, where I would love to know I don't remember if there's a 2d Two hour video I've done with when I'm ranting about design. But do tell. Maybe it's somewhere online. That's cool. I would love to know. So I can direct people. Okay. <clears throat> Captain Bows. Yeah, man, I mean, no one has to to uh, submit to Spectrum. The option is there if you want to. It's not like you will never get a job if you don't submit to Spectrum. Like I have I have never been in Spectrum. I've never submitted to Spectrum. And you know, I'm fine. I'm fine with work. It's just a great way for exposure. I think especially for freelancers <clears throat> that um, <clears throat> don't have, sorry for the clearing on my throat. I think it's good for freelancers, especially when um, they don't um, they don't have a company to lean on. You know, with, with bigger companies, you have other artists, uh, so you have wider bandwidth and you can produce more work and hence you saying you are working for a company you're piggy riding on all the the momentum the company itself has but with the artists that create art for it you know but as a freelancer you're you're just one person that does all the marketing all the client work uh, all the you know pr stuff so the fact that then uh, you can just pay to be put in spectrum and you'll be in the laps of hundreds of art directors um, for $20 uh, you know it's a it's a pretty good trade
because it is a book art directors buy, for sure. <clears throat> oh, of Wooden Breakfast. Oh, yeah, the interview with um, with uh, Bengtson. Yeah, he's a cool guy. FS bro. Oh, that's the first time I've ever heard that. Wow. Your, uh, your imagination is astounding. <laughs> However, did you come up with that joke? It's amazing. Amazing, man. Hey, Bon88. Welcome. Captain Jetlag, Captain Jetlag, you're here. Yeah, Captain Boss. Yeah, definitely. You know, what can you do? What can you do? But like I said, no one makes, it's not obligatory to submit to that book. You can choose to not to, then you just need to find other ways for, for marketing. That's it. You know, it's not important. It's great. It's a one of many tools to be get seen by big companies. But like I said, I have never been in, in a Spectrum. And for 10 years now, I have had no problems with uh, publicity in that sense, you know. At today's date, uh, you, Captain Jetlag? Captain Boss, no, I think that the beauty of internet is that a lot of people can come up with cool ideas and, and they or organically grow. I mean, this spectrum, this book has been around for 25 years. Obviously, there is a reason for it. And it is a sort of tr threshold quality of art inside the book. It's like, a how can you do the parallel? Like good food. You know, you go to a restaurant, you know the reputation of the restaurant, especially if it's been around for 20 years. You know, you know the chef is uh, only hires really talented chefs. Uh, and you know what, what you get when you go there. It's the same thing, you know. But that doesn't mean that when you go for lunch, you have to go to that restaurant. Or if you're a chef, you have to be at that restaurant. I don't know. My analogies are, are shitty. <laughs> As per usual. I really want to have f make this character feel like it's kind of barely holding together, like it's been never been in 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 for service. That it's it's like super raggedy, ragged. I want to have, like, it should feel like it's losing skin almost. It should never have skin, obviously, because it's a robot. But uh, I want it to feel like it's a nasty hunter, and that it runs through bushes and so on without any care about its appearance. So I want to try to communicate that. I need to add that layer later. Let's see. Hey, happy birthday, Capt uh, Captain Jetlag. Oh, yeah. No, wait, is it Zealins as well? No. 
Happy birthday to you, Captain Jetlag. Happy birthday to you, Captain Jetlag. Happy birthday, <laughs> dear Captain Jetlag. Happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey and smell like one, too. Oh, that was from Madagascar. Such a funny movie. My kids love it. And you could hear my fantastic singing abilities. I just broke the internet. Come on, calm down. Not everyone at once. See uh, autographs after the stream. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I need to buy uh, hearing aids from now on after my my crow song. What does a monkey smell like? Probably bananas and uh, feces. <laughs> I, I don't know. Palm trees? Her face broke, for sure. For sure. Uh, Rex, how I tackled getting a job, first job? Um, Well, the very, very first was from a website called Garage Games. And uh, how that worked was it was like a bulletin board. So any user could post anything on the bulletin board. Uh, but it was like work related or jobs related. So I had made a post. I'm a concept artist. I'm looking for, for, for work. And I should put some of my images in there, and then I was praying. Not really praying, because I'm not religious, but whatever. And then uh, a company contacted me and said, hey, would you mind doing, helping us a little bit? And that was for Tribes 2. That was my very first, but, you know, the work I did, they didn't use. So, so it doesn't really really count. I mean, obviously, it was, it was just my hail mary attempt at trying to do something, and and the work ended up looking quite a lot like Feng Zhu, Feng Zhu's very early kind of marker and ink drawings, but fifty seven levels under his quality. Uh, um, but then. After many, after years of that, uh, of no more work, but of that first experience, uh, later I tried to to uh, get into the concept art business. But I, at that time, when I got that first contract or little work, was uh, at a hobby level. You know? I was working at a in a factory, dreaming that maybe one day concept art. But then I, I quit my job, went to university. Long story short, I started a sketchbook thread, worked really hard at improving my 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 artistic qualities. And, uh, and then one of my first jobs were for uh, NCSoft, and I was approached by, by them. due to my exposure of my um, online sketchbook because I made damn sure that I constantly updated it it was always daily updated and that I was pushing the envelope with my sketches because it was obviously not for any client so I could draw whatever I wanted and uh, that was a great marketing tool because last time I looked on that sketchbook many years ago, it, it had like a couple millions of views, and I had I had three hundred pages of uh, 
sketchbooks, like forum pages of sketchbook posts and comments and so on. So it was a very busy thread that I constantly updated, and it was always on the uh, first page of that section. Um, so when I got those uh, those first contracts, I just made sure that whatever I did was to my best abilities and as fast as possible. Like I didn't sleep; I just wanted them to be happy, you know. And then snowball effect, uh, one led to the other. Like more and more work. Uh, more and more happy clients, I could post more and more, and so on. Uh, forums are hard now to get exposure. Because there's really no centralized place anymore. I mean, ArtStation, sure. Um, ArtStation is probably a good place to get noticed. If you get to the first page. But uh, I think best would be Instagram, probably. Because it doesn't have a centralized um, point of exposure. It's all down to hashtags, and then how creative can you be with those hashtags, and what's your exposure rate? You know, how how are you trying to be to be noticed on the internet? It's very tricky and it's very difficult, and you really gotta th like take a minute to think about your strategies of being noticed. I think it's very important and healthy to think about, you know, like, okay, how do I get eyes on my art? And then, obviously, uh, my art needs to be good. So you, you need to do the very best you can. And then uh, make sure that you have hedged your bets so that when you do get exposure, you are currently at your current state getting the most out of it as you possibly can until the next point of exposure where you have upped your level and there's a clear reason for exposure. Yeah, rakes. It's it's all about strategy and uh, delivery of uh, skills. All right. So this is where I am with this one. I really gotta stop the stream because I gotta crank on with work. There's a tight deadline. Um, I didn't do as much as I wanted, uh, but it's getting there slowly. So thanks everyone for joining in. Have a fantastic day. Good night. Um, tonight. I might do a music stream with art, um, possibly work on this one. Um, so have a great day, everyone. Happy birthday, Captain Jetlag. You're a gem. Um, hopefully my rant about exposure made some sort of sense. Uh, all right, catch you guys on Discord. You guys are the best. Happy birthday.